Thank you for giving me the opportunity to discuss with you today the role of the National Institutes of Health in research addressing COVID-19. The strategic plan that we have is fourfold. One, to improve our fundamental knowledge of the virus and the disease it causes. Next, to develop new point of care diagnostics. Next, to characterize and test therapeutics. And finally, to develop safe and effective vaccines. First, with regard to diagnostics, as you probably heard from Dr. Francis Collins last Thursday, the NIH has developed a rapid acceleration of diagnostics program called RADx, with an award to that specific program of up to a half a billion dollars to support the development of COVID-19 diagnostics. It is a national call for innovative technologies that will be evaluated in a shark tank-like selection process to get to either success or failure rapidly. Moving on to therapeutics, I'll talk a bit about the remdesivir success antiviral in a moment, but let me emphasize that there are a number of broad spectrum antivirals that are in various stages of testing. In addition, we will be looking at convalescent plasma, which is plasma from individuals who've recovered from COVID-19 to be used in passive transfer, either in prevention or treatment. In addition, hyperimmune globulin, which can be used as a gamma globulin shot. We'll be looking at repurposed drugs, as well as immune-based therapies and host modifiers, <clears throat> and finally, monoclonal antibodies. Let me take a moment to describe the remdesivir placebo-controlled randomized trial, which was done internationally with a power of more than 1,000 individuals in sites throughout the world. It was in hospitalized patients with lung disease. The endpoint was primarily time to recovery. The result was statistically significant, but really modest. And we must remember, it was only a modest result showing that the drug made a 31% faster time to recovery. We hope to build on this modest success with combinations of drugs and better drugs. Moving on to vaccines, there are at least eight candidate COVID-19 vaccines in clinical development. The NIH has been collaborating with a number of pharmaceutical companies at various stages of development. I will describe one very briefly, which is not the only one, but one that we have been involved in heavily developing with Moderna. It's a messenger RNA platform. You might recall in this committee that in January of this year, I said that it would take about one year to 18 months if we were successful in developing a vaccine. The NIH trial moved very quickly. On January 10th, the sequence was known. On January the 11th, the Vaccine Research Center met to develop a plan. On the 14th of January, we officially started the vaccine development. 62 days later, we are now in phase one clinical trial with the two doses already fully enrolled. There will be animal safety. The phase one will directly go into phase two, three in late spring and early summer. And if we are successful, we hope to know that in the late fall and early winter. There are some important issues, however, in COVID-19 vaccine development. We have many candidates and hope to have multiple winners. In other words, it's multiple shots on goal. This will be important because this will be good for global availability if we have more than one successful candidate. We also, as the chairman mentioned, will be producing vaccine at risk which means we'll be investigating considerable resources in developing doses even before we know any given candidate or candidates work. I must warn that there's also the possibility of negative consequences where certain vaccines can actually enhance the negative effect of the infection. The big unknown is efficacy. Will it be present or absence and how durable will it be? And finally, I wanna mention the NIH has launched a public-private partnership called Accelerating COVID-19 Therapeutic Interventions and Vaccines. The purpose of that is to prioritize and accelerate clinical evaluation of therapeutic candidates with near-term potential. Hopefully, our research efforts, together with the other public health efforts, will get us quickly to an end to this terrible ordeal that we are all going through. Thank you very much. Happy to answer questions later.